what are video of Said here in this video I'll be showing you and discussing about uh, the new features of iOS 7.1 on all the iDevices so as you know that Apple has released and patched the version jailbreak and I kind of miss my jailbreak but still I prefer the simplicity of iOS 7 so the first thing that you'll be noticing is uh, the lock screen and as you can see the text it's slightly enhanced and the color is also uh, slightly uh, increased giving you uh, a nice look for slide to unlock so as you go inside your home screen as i'll be showing you right now you can instantly notice an increase uh, in the ui functionality for instance launching of applications and uh, at the same time uh, going from one application to another like multitasking it has been increased and enhanced and I didn't find any lag or so uh, by using this uh, by using my device on 7.1 the second difference that I have noticed uh, from on my iPhone 5s is the camera. As you can see, when I launch my camera application, you can see that HDR Auto mode is enabled, and uh, this is only limited for iPhone 5s users. I didn't find the HDR Auto mode available for iPhone 5 users, and also I have seen some of the imprints. For instance, if you just launch your Control Center, you can see the bounce effect as. As you can see the bounce effect uh, it's slightly bouncing so it has been also uh, enhanced and also the icons it looks more clearer and more flatter as in my uh, view and also the keyboard as I'll be showing you right now when I launch the keyboard you can see that the 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 background is lightened up and also the shift key as you can see when you just uh, want to uh, type in caps lock letter double tap it as you can see it will be indicated by a black color uh, up mark as uh, for in, in terms of uh, typing your words in capital and also the letters on the keyboard it looks much clearer and also the keys has been enhanced so this is the functionality that ios 7 has brought and uh, also i have also noticed the notification center as you can see uh, it, the text has been added as no notification no missed notification and uh, to me it looks more clear and uh, nice and also i have noticed when you go into your settings option and uh, when you go into your uh, generals accessibility you can see that uh, large text and uh, bold text ha bold text has been added and also another feature has been added as uh, called as a button shapes when you just toggle it on you can see towards the upside the it, it indicates that you have to go backwards and when you just switch it off as you can see the indication has been brought uh, in iOS 7 and this applies wherever you have the settings option for instance wherever for instance like mail if you want to go back the indication will be available and also increase contrast contrast when you go inside it you may, you, may, you will find three options available reduce transparency darken colors and also reduce white point as i'll be showing right now the color it dims a little bit uh, if you toggle this on so this has also been added and also reduce motion has been added as it was before and when you go into your uh, what we call as uh, settings option you can see notice that uh, the touch id and passcode has been directly brought uh, at the front uh, page of the settings so it might it, it's easier to access your touch id or even your passcode and when you go into your icloud settings as uh, when you go into your mail calendar uh, contacts and calendar you'll be noticing that uh, a holiday calendar is added as a for fetch new data so this also has been added in ios 7.1 and also when you go into your brightness uh, wallpaper and brightness as you can see in previous versions of ios 7.0.6 which was the latest version when you just uh, uh, tap on this uh, wallpaper you will be taken as uh, as uh, which wallpaper you want to choose but here a new but a new uh, new column has been added as you can see choose a new wallpaper you, you have to go inside it and choose your wallpaper according to what you need and uh, also you, as you can see when i just tap on this uh, wallpaper you will be seeing a perspective zoom option available for instance you want to just set your wallpaper according to your need you can just set it off or you can just uh, toggle it on so that it 
just uh, makes your wallpaper as a zoom zooming of your setting your wallpaper in an in in an appropriate way so this has been also added in ios 7.1 so another feature that I have noticed is the calendar as you can see when you go into a calendar option the calendar has been to some extent revamped and you can see your holiday uh, events uh, right directly from your calendar calendar option as you can see so you just type it on and you'll be seeing as a who has their birthday so uh, I have seen a changes change in the calendar option also and also the other feature that I have seen uh, in iOS 7.1 is the uh, calling option for instance as you can see towards the bottom the calling option is circular and also if you want to add a contact uh, you will be seeing that uh, you don't have to go and uh, press uh, the contacts option as add to contact is gone and uh, 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 replacing it is the plus sign as you can see towards the left side when you just tap on it you can create a new contact and also add an existing contact and also uh, below the text you can see the line underlining uh, a line that underlines the text this hall also has been added in the iOS 7.1 and uh, also when you just uh, on a turn off your device you can see that uh, a a new UI has been introduced and slide to power off as you can see it just dims so this has also been added in iOS 7.1 the other feature that I have noticed is the Safari option when you go into your Safari browser you can see that search web or enter site name is directly enter uh, directly shown in the URL so this has also been added and the other feature that I have found in uh, iOS 7.1 is, is in the photos application when you go into your photos application and you want to edit uh, a photo you just have to tap on edit and as you can see new filters uh, have been added in your photos application and the, the way of filter is has been changed as you can see so it looks more clearer and more nicer when compared to iOS uh, previous iOS versions so it's a very nice change that uh, iOS 7 has brought in all the ID devices some of the tricks here and there are also changed and uh, the, the UI has become more faster more stable and I didn't find any crashes by using this uh, version of iOS 7.1 I'll be also doing the benchmark comparisons of iOS 7.0.6 when compared to iOS 7.1 so that you might find a little change in the way the the ios handles its fastness so if you guys like my video if you like with the video please do give it a thumbs up and also do follow me on twitter facebook instagram and also do subscribe me for more tech creator videos and more comparative videos as i have said earlier i will be doing a comparison between oppo phone and uh, when compared to my iphone 5s so till then i'll be seeing you in my next video